A fight breaks out at a hookah lounge in Detroit, ending with eight people stabbed. And the horrific brawl was all caught on camera. Fox 2's Dave Spencer joins us live tonight with a closer look at the mayhem. Dave? Yeah, Monica, security cameras pointed at the parking lot of that hookah lounge gave us an idea of the chaos leading up to the event in which eight people were stabbed and one person later arrested. A brawl just before dawn on Sunday caught on camera. It shows roughly a dozen people fighting in the parking lot outside of the Taiga Hookah Lounge at 445 in the morning. By the time Detroit police arrive on scene, they've learned a total of eight people have been stabbed. Uh, it probably happened over some argument that could have been resolved just through verbal conversation um, as opposed to going towards weapons. Police tell us the victims were seven men and one woman, all of which taken to the hospital. At around 8.30 Sunday morning, Detroit police were alerted that the suspected stabber was also at a hospital being treated for injuries related to the fight. Security at the Taiga Hookah Lounge in the 6,000 block of Evergreen say this got started inside the business, but they broke it up, sending them outside. And that is where the stabbings took place. This is really sh shocking to me. Those living near the hookah lounge say pre-pandemic, this place was typically very busy, but tells us violence like this Sunday morning was very unusual. It was safer before, but now this thing happened, and this is really scary for all of the neighbors. Police say while some of the injuries the victims sustained were severe, none of them were fatal. In addition to the stabbing, police say they were actually called out there for reports of shots being fired. There they were able to collect some evidence, but they tell us that there were no reports of anybody being injured from any gunshots. Reporting live tonight, Dave Spencer, Fox 2 News. So Dave, what's next for the suspect? Yeah, he's being held by, right now by Detroit police. He has not been officially arraigned. Police tell us they're still in the process of looking over that evidence and making sure they have the appropriate evidence to uh, Per, uh, give charges to the prosecutor at this point. All right. Thanks for that live report, Dave.